Oh, hi, YouTube. I'm back at it like a crack addict. We're here in the movie Emporium. I'm here in front of my Blu-rays. Real old school style video. Um, so today I've gathered you all here to listen to me speak about an independent film that I watched. This is something that I've been wanting to do um, a lot more of with my channel as I know I've done like movie reviews in the past, but I would like to do a lot more like movie reviews that focus on micro budget, low budget, no budget filmmaking. Because um, that's what I'm really interested in right now. That's kind of where I'm trying to push this channel is, um, you know, I'm really wanting to become a, a micro budget filmmaker and hopefully that grows into being a budget filmmaker and then just a filmmaker one day. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing here today. That's why I've gathered you all here, so to speak, is we're going to talk about this movie that I watched tonight called Lust, Magic, and the Witch's Sabbath. A um, movie was released this year. I actually got an early screener of it to watch. Um, and I really like this movie a lot. I think it had um, a lot of really interesting shots. I think it had a really, the really good seeds of a story, and I think that it had um, some really good humor. So the movie kind of starts off, um, you have this little girl seeing uh, her mom being uh, basically like doused in gasoline and burned. Um, and then we cut to modern times. Um, and that, that opening kind of gave me like 2013, 2013, 2013 Evil Dead vibes. Um, can you tell me a little rusty? I haven't made a YouTube video where I'm standing here in a little bit. Anyways, um, so kind of gave me 2013 Evil Dead, the, the remake vibes, um, when she's like being burned and stuff like that. So that was cool. Like that caught me right off the bat, right? Um, so I'm in. And then we cut to now. We've got this girl Morgan. Um, she kind of dabbles in like witchcraft and you know that kind of thing. She, I, you know, I don't believe in Satan that kind of thing, but. Um, until she's kind of a, you know, goth baddie or whatever. <laughs> um, so she drives a hearse, uh, which is cool. Um, and so she ends up moving to the other side of town. And when she gets there, there's like this kind of coven of witches that she starts hanging out with. The movie kind of goes from there. So that's the basic plot, right? Um, but this movie had a lot of really interesting ways from my like nerdy filmmaker perspective. Um, a lot of really, really interesting ways that things were shot. So like one of my favorite shots in particular in the movie was um, you had the girl Morgan um, driving and I feel like in a normal movie they would have shot that just like straight on but this movie they decided to kind of cock it to an angle where you could see like the um, you know you could see part of her face but you could also see like the uh, she had like this um, like jawbone hanging off of her uh, rear view mirror and so just like the way that like camera was cocked and the music and that's another thing with this movie is the music cues are like really really good um, I didn't like none of the songs it's, it's a micro budget film so a lot of the songs aren't like you know songs by big bands anything like that of course it's like you know more like independent music and stuff like that but like all the the song choices were like really really good and went really really well with like the scenes you know you have scenes of her like setting up her house that kind of thing with like some nice like kind of like synth music and then it's got some really like banging punk music like that scene that I was talking about when she's driving around has some like really killer punk songs and that's my favorite genre is punk so like I was fucking in you know um but uh you know like little things like that were really like adding up for me overall I would say the movie felt like this might be an odd comparison but it kind of felt like if Kevin Smith directed Rosemary's Baby um because it had kind of like the first half had kind of like the 90s Kevin Smith like snarky dialogue like clerks or mall rats like that kind of thing um, but then as it went on you got you know because I mean of course with the title of the film you can kind of tell there's more like witchcraft and satanic uh, imagery and stuff like that and then at that point it reminded me a little bit of like Rosemary's Baby and like Lords of Salem like that kind of thing but it never lost its comedic edge and it had I'm not going to spoil the ending or anything but it had in the last act it had something that made me like double over laugh like, it has some really funny stuff in it. Um, the movie's definitely, it's definitely a B-movie. It's very sleazy. So if, like, you know, sex and blood ain't your thing, you're not going to be feeling this movie at all. Um, but if you like the sleazier side of cinema, um, I do think that this movie's really fun. And despite its low budget, I feel like as you're watching it, you forget it's a low-budget movie. And you're just kind of, like, watching this, like, really fucking decent, you know, production that was put together. Um, so overall, I really liked it. I, I don't know. I don't really want to give a score because I feel like numbers are arbitrary. Um, but I really dug the flick. I think you guys should all check it out. Um, I'm going to be linking down below the Instagram uh, for the production company that made this, uh, Hodgebob Productions. Um, thank you guys for sending me a screener. I uh, really love the flick and definitely give them a follow. I will see you guys in the future. Um, you know, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube bullshit. Uh, party on Wayne. I'm not good at ending videos, but goodbye.